Revisiting ESPR and Blender It's been a couple of years since I produced a video about the joint use of ESPR and Blender. Software evolves, as do the number of tricks of the trade. Here's a short video taking on an ESP model of an office building and exporting it to a Wavefront file using some filters and then viewing the model in Blender as a hidden line view. Here's the ESPR model. It's a four-level office in an urban street surrounded by similar buildings. The ground, first and third levels are largely open plan rooms with a core. East and west spaces are separated. The second level has a perimeter thermal zones forming lots of small offices and the ceiling voids are separately represented. So in general, this is a low resolution model as can be seen on the ground level west space. There are a number of options for exporting an ESPR model for use in third-party applications, and one of these is Blender and the wavefront object and material files that it's able to read. When we go to the export, there are a number of questions that are asked. And, well, we don't want to export separate layers in the constructions. We don't need that level of detail, and we only want to export opaque bodies so that it's possible to see inside. This simple model uses shared partitions between the spaces, so we choose the center line option for this. We want to confirm that the floors are generated from the inside face. The model has explicit ceiling voids, so we don't want an automatic center line for those either. And we could be asked to confirm each surface, but we're short of time, so we can skip that step. We want all of the building, and we'll be asked occasionally for some additional information as it scans it. Having generated a pair of Wavefront files, we can exit from the Project Manager and start Blender. We want to import a Wavefront file and then identify the file to import. It's important to set the transform option to minus Y forward. Our first task, of course, is to delete that one meter cube at the origin. And then we can go and rotate around the site as we need to. I have a tendency to turn off the site grid and I often tog set toggles to get a wireframe view with all of the edges visible and then click on the option to the left of it which turns it into a hidden line view. In a separate video I'll go over some improvements and use of those wavefront files within the ESPR EQR model to derive a number of different visual comfort indices.